on this. This was the template. So I spent a month with this guy, and I said to myself, how would the name of God am I going to... I'm not, I'm not happy with this at all. So I went back to Ballyfermot with Tanko, to Tom, Tom Staunton, who was the, the man I had the great respect for. And I said to Tom, I called him to Tom, I said, Tom, oh, how are we getting on? And the first thing he says, well, see, this is I'm here. I'm not getting on. I don't, like, I don't like that job at all. He says, I am with this old cranky old bugger. And uh, he, he treats you like a, a, a child. And uh, he says, hey, do you remember that job you were telling me about on the south side? He says, is that still on? It's not on the car, not on the garage, he says. He says, stick with it, he says. And he, I, you come back to me in six months and tell me that you're not, if, you, if you're not happy in six months, I, I, I'll, get you, I'll give you a job. So that six months came and went. So then uh, as time went on then, I was, set, I was let out on my own, got my own sights and discovered that this guy I was put with was an absolute oddball, you know. But, but again, I don't blame him, I blame the people that, that sent me there. But uh, then I worked there for, what, the guts, 20, 20 years anyway, and they were, I was out in Ballymun, I had a job. Uh, the project I had was re-roofing all the flats. They were all, they were actually built in the 60s, they were re-roofed in between. And I was the last, the, 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 the last man that would have been there. So there was, I think there was 30, 38 story blocks and the six or seven tower blocks were, which were called after the 1916 leaders. So they had to be all re-roofed and I was on that, on that project. And in the meantime, the regeneration of Ballymore was in, was sort of start, they were talking about. So I knew that one of the architects, a very young architect that I remember working with back in the city council, said to me, met me one day and he said, would you think of joining up with us here? Oh, jeez, I don't know if I was I in. I, I, I did. I'm okay where I am. And oh, he kept asking me and asking me. He said, you go in and ask my boss. No, I want it. He wouldn't ask him because I know what he'd another play he'd get. So eventually, I did. They wore me down anyway, and I joined up with them, and uh, that was the the, re, the, the regeneration of Alimon. It was a real, it was one of these really breakneck jobs, you know, and you wouldn't think you were working for a local authority at all. Standards, the standard of safety, well, it was it was frightening, and I. Uh, bad to me, is it? Beg your pardon. P poor. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't happy at all. But to, to really, to compound the whole thing, it, it was a multitude. I, I'd be looking after. I was normally looking after. My biggest scheme would be a hundred and fifty houses. That'd be one once. But this was a multiple, for four hundred and fifty, two or three contractors, site meetings practically every day. Let. Not a lot of time to go out and do my inspection, which I thought was to be work slipping. I, I know myself that things go slipping. But anyway, in the safety aspect of it, it wasn't great. And I wound up then, a disaster, of course, had to happen. There was a civil works contract, which I wasn't involved. I didn't look after the civil, civil end of the job. There was a child, a, a machine reversed and killed a little child. And then, of course, all hell broke loose then. And health and safety became a major issue on the job and it went from, it went really unbelievable then. The, the workload, like, I used to leave work at six o'clock in the evening. I'd work, I'd work Saturdays, I'd work Saturdays for up to one o'clock. I'd leave the house here at seven o'clock in the evening and head up to, um, I'd, 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 I'd leave the house at 7 o'clock, head up to Ballymun. Then, in the winter's evening, maybe finish at 6 o'clock, and get out onto them 50, sitting on the car. At that time, it, it was it had only two lanes, and there'd be a traffic jam down to try to get onto the Blanchardstown uh, exit. 
And I said to myself, I don't know if this worth it at all, this carry on. So they got, anyway, here didn't. I said, I think uh, I, I want to get out of the city or get away from this this place if I can, you know. Because I, I felt it was, it, 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 there was something peculiar about, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't what, what I was used to. So I, a vacancy came up in Kildare County Council and I said, Tom, I'd throw my hat in the ring for this one. So Julie done it and came first on the panel. It was, they were, I, I was quite pleased with myself. And then I wound up doing work that I'd never had to do before. It was like varied from from what you call it, from house inspections to some person wanting to uh, put in new windows, they'd be looking for self-help grants. Uh, you could be asked to do anything in, in regard. So I found it very interesting. And when I'd be, years ago, when I'd be maybe leave the house here and above on the, above near Blanchardstown, stuck on a traffic jam, at the same amount of time I could be below on the Curra after driving unhindered all the way. So I said to myself, this is great, you know, to get away from that. And uh, then the village, as I said, I started with them, they were, they, they, their headquarters was in the old fever hospital in St. Mary's, in Nace, and then they were building the new civic offices. So I remember being down when, the, when they were being built. I knew the, the builder that built them. And the foreman, I, I, he was actually my foreman over in in, in Ballymun, the foreman was looking after the, the, the city office development. So, like, I, I'd have known them all pretty well. But I, I, that's, where, that's where I finished me. I'd done me seven years or thereabouts with them, and that's where I retired from. Mm. So it was an event for life. Well, yeah, and uh, in the middle of all that, you met a girl, you got married, had a couple of kids. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah during my time, it, it, it was probably during the time I decided to go for uh, the, what you call it. I, I, uh, I she worked in the in in in, in what you call it, leaf and and uh, her her her, uh, her family like her her, uh, her the, the, she's just from across the border, Kildare woman. So then we 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 we, we got married, and uh, as I say, uh, started first. Uh, I, I, I had a caravan and then built, built this house at this size and built the house single hand. It was like, <laughs> it was uh, from digging the foundations, myself and poor old Roger, we dug the foundations by hand. He loved, he loved digging and then when it come to the building of the walls, I, I, there was no door around that time. I was doing me famous Nixon and Jobin, so therefore I stayed at home for I think six weeks, no pay. I had was able to. I think herself worked. Herself worked for a while after getting married, and I was able to build the walls up to my own height. Then when I get to the stage, I had to scaffold it. That's where my my, my poor old neighbour Roger came in. So he attended me, and at one stage I was contemplating getting a bricklayer in, and he said, "Not at all." He says, "See, what well, we're doing all right the way we are." So. We, we, he, I, I, I got the block work done and my aim was to get the roof on for the winter and I duly done that. And uh, everything else, I, I done everything but the wiring, the wiring of the house, the house, um, Jack Farrell, um, uh, a neighbour of Betty's over in Johnstown Bridge, he's a, he's a building contractor now, he done the wiring for us. And everything else I done myself. Because it even reflects on the, my interview with the corporation. And I often thought it was the one that took, that swung it. The guy, one of the guys on the panel, uh, he was, I think he was an engineer, and he, he said to me, um, he says, could you build a house, to see to me? Oh yes, he said, I could. He started first. He built the, uh, the block work, yeah. The roofing, yeah. The plaster, yeah. And then he looked at his, he looked at one. Well, he looked at his, the rest of the guys, and I thought this guy was was taking the piss on me. And says, <laughs> says, 
says, see, I, of course, down the country, he says, fellas are trying to be a jack of all. Now, says, hey, hold on a minute. Now, says, I wait now for a minute. Are you suggesting, says I, that the standard of work in the country is inferior to what's in the do in Dublin, says I? I worked in the city, says I. I know what's like. Oh, no, no, don't get me wrong. I didn't mean it that way. And probably they said, I often thought that was the, that was the one that, this is the guy. <laughs> because... I was listening to it all right, I wasn't, but when I realised this guy was having the, taking the, you know, having a go at me, I wasn't going to have, I wasn't, I wasn't having any of it, but that was it, you know. It worked. It worked, it worked, it worked, it got me the, it got me the job. So that's, that, that's, that, that's, that's how it is, and then I'm retired now, what, five years retired, and I'm back where I started. Farm and a uh, uh, farm labourer. I started out as farm labourer and went back to be farm labourer. So I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy at that. Probably through all, uh, you you saw a number of, of uh, downturns, if not entire crashes in, in the economy. Yeah. And uh, but your your ability and interest in work. You never had issues with money. You, you, you no, no, no. More no, than no. got by Thank, thank God, thank God. But, whereas a lot of people during those periods were in dire yeah, trouble. Yeah, you know, whether it was 74 or yeah, the, yeah. the mid 80s or yeah, again, yeah. we know more recently. Yeah. Well, I remember when I was, when I was in with, with Dublin City Council, the, the Dublin Corporation, or at the time they call them City Council now, in 1987. There was a serious, uh, there was a serious uh, downturn in the country, and I, 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 every fortnight when you get your pay slip, there'd be a note on it to ask you, would you consider taking retirement? Right. Now, I, I had no, I had no intention of taking retirement because I had two young kids to rear, and I, I, I saw what the you know, this job and business was there was nothing out there. To be, if if they were tight, everyone else was was tight. So I, I stuck stuck with it. And there's one other thing that happened during my time at the corporation. The Morrison visas became uh, they, they were um, what you call it. They, 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 that was introduced in America, and uh, out of uh, development didn't apply for one of them. And lo and behold. If I wanted to win the sweep, but I, I came up on the lottery for one of them. And we said, I said to myself, now, says I, we're in a predicament now. Mm. Says I, says I, if it happened to me before I went to the corporation, I would have taken, taken it up. Now, says I, I'm in a permanent pension position. If we head out to America now, says I, with, with these two kids, says I, we, we might come back, but says I, they'll never come back. So I said we stay. Stay put, and I, 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 I certainly don't regret it. Of course, of course. But, uh, but that was, as I say, it was more of a development than I mean, that's It, I said, I'd throw me hat on the wing and see what would happen. Yeah. But, but that, that was your your attitude to to, to life. Yeah. Where you, you 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 weren't daunted by anything. No, no, you'd, no, you'd, you'd, no. But but I but I I, go I, ahead I, I I thought that if um, I what I wouldn't have liked would be. To come to my age now, and you'd have American, you'd probably have American grandkids, the kids that are, the when I'd be coming to retire. I might want to come back to retire in Ireland, but I might not. But I, I said, I, I, I'm not going to put myself in that position. we we'll stick with it. Yeah. So I stayed, I, stayed in, I, stayed in, I stayed in Ireland. I'd known, I'd no real need to go. And that's what I said to myself, yeah. what, what was the need to go? Mm. No. What age were you when you got married? I was 24. 24, yeah, I was 24 when I got married. T tell us a bit about your social life up to that point. Social life, uh, the year before I got married, I used to, I had a, I used to, like, a, uh, when I was, when I was young, and when I was too young, I'd say, I used to take a little drop, of, um, I, I, I'd have a few drinks, and I'm probably drinking when I shouldn't be drinking. And then when I when I when I met Betty, we 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 decided we were going to get married. The year before, I said, 
I took the pledge, went up to Flugos, went up to Father O'Connor, and I wasn't an alcoholic or anything like that, but I said to myself, this is the way to do it. So I didn't drink, I didn't take a drink until, that included Christmas and all that, until the kids, until we were here sitting at the fire and the kids were gone, they were out socialising. And I said to myself, no, I said, you know, I said, we, we'll have to start moving out. Mm -hmm. But that's why we never had an issue with babysitters or anything like that, mm -hmm. because there was no, we'd, we always went out on New Year's Eve, that was always, we'd go, we certainly, we, every Sunday, we took the family, we'd go for a drive and all of that, but we, as I said, drink didn't become an issue. Now, when the kids decided to do, we'd, we'd go at the weekend now and have me a couple of pints and that's the way I like it. And then if we want to go on holidays, then uh, we try to, we try to go somewhere every year. That, uh, uh, that there'll be, maybe Betty might go a bit more often than me, but I certainly go, I certainly go once a year anyway. Mm. But uh, it's, it's, uh, as I say, I'm, I'm quite happy with my life anyway. Of course. And ju just even the, the simple socialising, like, did, were there card schools, I mean, before you got married? No, uh, all, all the, all the socialising would be, maybe, uh, before I got married, there would be, you go down to Fagans and there would be 25s there and you'd have a few, a few drinks and kind of everything centred around the pub, you know, the singing lounges, O'Neill's and Johnstone, because that'd be her local. It'd be, heaven would be social, that was the kind of the socials. There was very little in Summerhill at the time because there was no community centre, you know. But, and uh, dances in the, in the old parochial Oh house. yeah, well, the carnivals are to remember more so than that. Right. Uh, so I go to the carnivals in, in, in there was one in, in Kil Kilbrook over near Enfield and then you'd have Dunshockland, Summer Hill, uh, Ashbourne, you know, you'd, you'd get around them all, that was the summer. Then the, then the winter became a bit, bit, bit quiet then because you had Advent then, there was no dances in Advent, everything was very quiet. And uh, do you remember the carnivals in particular oh, at, in Summerhill? I would, I remember, I remember, I remember going to them. Now I'd be, as I say, yeah, tor towards the end, towards the end mm -hmm. I would remember them. And then when I was very young, you didn't go to the dances, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, when I was quite, when I was young, dances, dance halls didn't appeal to me that much. In my teenage years, I'd sort of go with the pictures. Nice. You know, the cinema. And where did that where, where I used to go to Trim and then mm. when I was going to bed he used to go off to eating dairy. Mm. Particularly when I when I gave up drinking we when I didn't take it I'd give up drinking so I didn't take a drink. We'd go to the we go to eating dairy maybe twice a week to the to the to the cinema. Yeah. And that cinema now was derelict at the moment. It was it's the way with all cinemas and trimmers no longer exists as shop now, you know. So sure. But that was, that, that was, I was kind of more into that. The dance hall team didn't, I wasn't. Okay, okay, I went because everyone else went. And they go in and give a few pints before you go in. They know the usual way to go to a dance. You know, you'd, 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 um, you'd get yourself, as they said, tanked up, whatever you like to call it. But that was the way everyone was. Well, there was very, there was an odd person which would be, uh, you know, pioneers or whatever they'd be, and they wouldn't, they wouldn't do that. You know, they wasn't, wasn't everyone was, wasn't like that. But as I said, I used to have, have, a, have a few. As I drinking when I shouldn't have been drinking, but I don't regret it. I think that, that, that you, you saw the the day when you'd spend more than you should have spent, and you'd be quite low in funds for the rest of the week. So that'd be a little eye opener to say, well, no. This is not the road, the right road you're going, you know. You mentioned travel. Yeah, you know, yeah, travel. travel. Well, travel. We travel, I don't know whether we travel a lot, but uh, it goes back to our very early days when we, 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 we when the kids were small. We, first of all, the first travel would be when they're very small, we'd take, take, a, we'd take a trip down through Ireland. And no book in, wherever we'd stop, wherever town we'd stop on, we'd go to a hotel. Stay for the night, 
and move on and tour all the south and the west and all the north. We done all that. Then when that was sort of exhausted, we decided then we take it a bit further, we decided to go to France. So we toured, we think we done we done two years in in, in, in we, we certainly Normandy Normandy in the beginning and then went down to Jean de Mont down in the Loire Valley. That was the next holiday. These are all family holidays. And the last family holiday we had was in it in Ibiza with when Shirley, her daughter, done her her leaving. And that was the last with our family, with the exception of this year, it be no, 2016, where I went to Spain with, with my uh, grand with, with, with my uh, my son, his wife and our two grandkids. Mm. So that was but in between then after this, that that was that that was the uh, a family holiday with the grand with sure. the with the grandkids. But then um, then as I say after after that we we done our own thing. You travelled to various countries well Spain, Greece, uh, what you, uh, Greece, uh, um, America. Uh, then the, the, probably the, the the most recent long distance one was down to Cuba. Oh my God! So we were in in that, that was that was last year. We went down to Cuba before before a before the great change comes, and. Uh, then we have we are back and forth to Canada with with with, with Shirley living in Canada in Toronto, we're back and forth there, and please God now for Christmas we're going to spend Christmas with her and her her, her, her family. Present. Because uh, as I say, the situation now that since she emigrated in 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 what oh God I think it's five years ago, uh, every Christmas. We she comes home every summer with herself, her husband, and her fam and our two kids, and y yes, every Christmas we spend with our son and and them two grandkids. So this year, I said we're not getting any younger, so why not spend Christmas with her? Right. So that 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 that's our 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 proposal for this year. The flights are booked, and right. bar somebody pulls the plug, right. I'd be born anyway. Brilliant, brilliant. So, so that's that, 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 that's my holiday, my holiday arrangement. So, I, as, I, as I say, I, I, you know, probably you work very hard, but you, you, you like to relax. Of course, you did it when you had to do it. Yeah, yeah. You, like you don't to, have to you, do it. You like to relax a bit, you know, as I say. It's, uh, and maybe now and then, in the middle of the in the middle of the year, I might take a couple of days off and head down to Galway or Kerry or or Cork or somewhere like that and stay. You know, like as I say, you, you, we're free agents, and if the if the weather is nice, and sometimes we do go, the weather doesn't be that nice. But nevertheless, we still enjoy yourself. Of course, you would. You know. Yeah. You know. Do you have any? Stories, uh, obviously none of us are old enough to remember yeah. the, the local historical events yeah. that uh, are, you, you live in the middle of. Yeah. Um, 